Hey, this is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. And this is Rants and Ravings, where I talk about something in the grappling community of the grappling world that just really gets under my skin. Today's topic is BJJ is not good for multiple opponents. Let me tell you something. Nothing's good for multiple opponents. Okay? If you're fighting more than one person, you may be in trouble. You had two people, three people, four people. I don't care if you can blast people's heads with chi. You may not survive that encounter. Multiple opponent situation is very dangerous. Okay? And you may not make it out. The whole point to a multiple opponent situation is escape. Or, if there's, that is not an option, you need to make enough space so you can deploy a force equalizer. And by that, I mean a pistol or a rifle or whatever you've got to get to make sure that you survive that encounter. Because you're trying to go home. This is self-defense. So here's what I have to say about that. BJJ offers at least as good of a multiple opponent defense as any other martial art out there, and it's a lot better than most of them. So let me tell you what entails a multiple opponent situation. First of all, you don't want these guys to be around you, okay? You want them all on the same line. You want to be able to see them. You don't want to get blindsided or flanked. So you want to keep these people in front. How do you do that? With a little bit of defense against punches, which BJJ in the traditional sense is taught. You're, you're working against the punches, you're defending the clinch and all that stuff, you're covering your head, and you're able to move these guys around because you had the balance developed from standing. So you can put one guy in front of another guy. All you're looking for is a way out. I'm not trying to beat these guys up. I want a way out, or I want space to deploy a weapon. Number two, BJJ offers defense takedown. If I go to the ground, it's a bad situation. It's worse than when I was standing because I can't just run away. BJJ offers you the ability to control whether or not you hit the mat or the ground or the pavement or the street or wherever you are. The third thing is BJJ offers you the ability to escape from bad positions on the ground and disengage from the ground. If you get mounted, you know how to escape. If you get in the guard, you can disengage. The worst thing ever is to have a bunch of people piling on top of you having a boot party with your head because you can't get up. If you don't train on the ground, you can't get up. That's it. The best way to not have to fight on the ground is to learn how to fight on the ground. So. BJJ, in my opinion, is superior to most martial arts out there in multiple opponent situations, which are bad to begin with. Okay, No art is great against multiple opponents. If somebody tells you that their art is good against multiple opponents, run away because they're just sitting with a marketing. It's a marketing ploy. It's just never a good idea to fight more than one person. You don't even want to be in a fight with one person, much less three, four, five. So BJJ offers a very good self-defense because you're going to keep these people away from you in a line. You're going to control them from standing. You're going to stop them from taking you down. If you get taken down, you're going to be able to get up and you're going to be able to get away. This is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy. I'd like to hear your comments. If you don't agree with me, the comments board is open. Post away. I'll see you next time.